What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Tenoshare iPhone Care Pro. So this is the official website of Tenorshare where you can go ahead and purchase the iPhone Care Pro or of course run a trial. Now you can see it's available on 64-bit version and 32-bit version. In addition to this, it's also available for Mac as you can see right here. Now for Mac it's actually a bit more expensive, as you can see it's $80, it's currently reduced to $40, whereas Windows is currently $30 reduced from $60. Now in terms of compatibility, what devices are available? As you can see, supported all iOS devices, including the latest iOS 9, 8.4, 8.3, 8.2, 8.1 devices. So I'm going to be telling you the iPhones, the iPads, and the iPods compatible. So the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S Plus, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, iPhone 2G, and of course the very first iPhone. Moving on to the iPads, iPad Pro iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad Mini 4, 3, 2, iPad Mini, iPad 4, iPad 3, iPad 2, and of course the first generation iPad. Now finally moving on to the iPods, the iPod Touch 6th generation, 5th generation, 4th generation, 3rd generation, 2nd generation and 1st generation, iPad Nano, iPod Classic, iPod Shuffle, and all the other iPods. So this is the software right here. Now as you can see it says connect your device to the PC, but first of all, Let's go ahead and see what we got. We can free files manager, meaning we can manage your contacts, the bookmarks, the calendars, the notes, videos, music, photos, and apps directly from this. From there, we can also free clean up, which means clean up junk files to speed up the device and free up storage space. Here, we can back up and restore all your data in iOS. This one here is pretty handy. You can remove ads from apps on iOS. Here, another very useful one. You can fix iOS stuck. So let's say you're stuck on the boot logo. This right here will be a very nice quick fix. And then the final thing, repair operating system. So you can repair your iOS when your iPhone, iPad or iPod performs abnormally. So right now I'm going to be connecting my iPhone 5. And as you'll see, it should show up right here. There we go, just like that. Now when using this, you want to make sure your Find My iPhone is turned off. So you can come to Settings on your phone, go to iCloud, and then go to Find My iPhone and just toggle it off. Now I'm going to be showing you each of these one by one and I'm going to be showing you how useful they actually are. So start enough, we will free file manager. So we'll go ahead and click start now. So as you can see we've got the contacts, the notes, the calendars, the apps, the music, the video, the bookmarks and of course the photos. So this is everything on your device. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick music. Now you can, if you come here and check this, this will select all of your music on your device. Now I don't have many songs so it's going to be fairly quick. Now if we come here we can also add music, so if we have any music that is on our computer and we'd like to put on our phones or iPods etc, then you can come here and just click add. But this time I'm going to export all of my music to my desktop, so you click export, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it iPhone music. And then choose this and as you can see it will start to do it. So as you can see it is now done, that was fairly quick, so if we come here Look at that, 58 items right here. This is all of my songs I have on my phone because it's all on my iPod, but there you go. So that is what you can do for each of these. I'm only demonstrating it with music to save time. And the next thing, we're going to speed up and clean. Now here you can see we can pick a quick clean or we can pick a deep clean. Now you can see the quick clean quickly cleans up various junk files, including catchies, cookies, temp files, crash logs, etc. Now whereas deep clean, it does an in-depth cleanup in junk files. It takes longer but frees up more storage space. Now I don't really need this because I've got 59 gigabyte free as a 64 gigabyte iPhone. So I'm going to do a quick clean by clicking start now. And here you can go ahead and select which ones you want on and which one you want off. So make sure you read through these quite carefully and then to toggle them off just left click them and it's off like that. So I'm happy with everything here. All you need to do is click scan now. So as you can see, it is done. We can remove junk files, which is 176 items, reclaim free space, which is 29.56 megabytes, and we can boost running performance by 20%, which is estimated. Now, as you'll see, it didn't do everything. It only done up to the app crash logs. That is because we picked a quick cleanup. So now we all need to do is click clean now. And there we go. The cleaning is complete. It didn't take much time. Your iPhone is still the same. Nothing's been touched. 
The next thing is backup and restore. So the device is already connected, so all we need to do is click backup now, and it's going to start to back up. So as you can see, the backup is now done. There it is right there. It tells you the size of the backup, and it tells you the date. So if you ever want to come back to this backup, all you need to do is press this, and you have backed it up. If you want to delete it, just press this, press yes, the backup will go. Just like that. So the next thing is add remove. So this apparently removes ads from your apps. So this is ads remove as you can see right here and it lists all of my apps on my device. And as you'll see here it says the status and it'll tell you if it has ads or not. You can tell all of my apps have no ads. So I literally cannot use this feature. It's not going to be used to me as of yet. But what you would do is just press the check mark next to the one that has ads. Then you click remove all ads. The next thing is fix iOS stuck. So this is it right here and as you can see it offers four different things that you can do. So you can enter recovery mode, you can enter DFU mode, you can exit recovery mode, you can exit DFU mode. Now although it only says these features, if you are stuck on the boot logo for example or anything like that, I believe this right here will help you. Now below each of them it tells you the uses of doing it. So if you want to downgrade to a prior iOS firmware and operating system, you can go ahead and press start now and this will help you out. Now obviously when you press start now there will be step by step instructions on how to do this so you won't be left to do it yourself. Now the final thing is repair operating system. So this is what it will look like and it says no data will be lost while repairing the operating system. Note iOS device will be updated to the latest iOS version after restoring. We will relock your unlocked iOS device after restoring. Jailbroken device will restore to non-jailbreak state after restoring. So make sure you read all of them carefully before you're doing so. If you do have a jailbroken device, remember read that carefully because there is no jailbreak for iOS 9. If you are still on iOS 8.3 with a jailbreak, make sure you read this carefully and don't do it. But all you do from here is just press next. And now you can see you download the firmware package. So here it offers you a download URL and the way you do this, you simply just press copy and then you'll go to your browser enter it in and then download it. Now it also tells you the firmware version so you're going to be downloading iOS 9. Now a very good feature about this, it picks up the iPhone itself and it gets you the exact right IPSW you need. So I'm going to go ahead and just press Control V to copy it and look at that. It's an instant download like that. Now I know it says 20 minutes, it's going to go down. It'll probably take like 10 minutes total but as you can see it's a 1.5 gigabyte download. Now the next thing you do once you download it is just simply press next and now from here you would browse and you'd go ahead and select your firmware. So it depends wherever you saved it, all you need to do is go ahead and select it, press open, and then the next thing you need to do is just press next, and it will repair your operating system. So that is it, this is Tenorshare's iPhone Care Pro. It is a very, very useful software. Now personally, I'm gonna be using this instead of iTunes from now on, because I do like it so much more better. The backup is so much more faster, adding music. You can even export music. iTunes has never implemented that. This has it right here. So if you want to go ahead and give it a try, there'll be a link to the trials in the description. Remember, it's available for Mac and Windows, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, in addition to this, of course, there is a giveaway. I have five license codes to give away. Now, the way I'll pick the winners is all you need to do is retweet the tweet that is on the screen right now. Then you have until the 18th of October on Sunday to enter the giveaway. Then the Monday, which is at the 19th of October, I'll be revealing the winners of the giveaway. Now I'm not going to be the one actually giving you the license code, so if you do win, you will need to give me your email and then I would forward it onto the company and the company themselves will contact you with the license code. Of course I'll say all this again when I reveal the winners, but for now, that's it. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated whether you're posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my game channel which I'm signed up pretty soon. And finally be sure to go and add Snapchat register what to do throughout my day. See you guys in Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, wait, and peace.